And Frank joins us now on the Corona Hotline to say hi. It's been way too long, my friend. What's up? The hell? Yeah, it's uh, and you can actually go to frankonstage.com. Frank although on stage, people, in, people in Chicago don't have a problem spelling Caliendo. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's yeah. easy. Nobody's yeah. got a problem with Especially that. Especially in Bridgeport. How hard has it been, honestly, for like people that do what you do, Frank, this last uh, two years now that we're going on this? Uh, I mean, it's kind of up and down. I'm actually doing an event in Orlando today, which is, uh, you know, I'm there tonight. So I, I think the toughest thing is probably the fact that they space people out at these corporate events a bunch. Uh, you know, people are further apart than they normally are. And the plane ride and a mask for five to six hours <laughs> is just it's no fun. Brutal. It's no so, fun. and then, it, you know, then you get out of the airport and everybody's sitting next to each other in a, <laughs> in the hotel lobby and stuff like that. So, right. Exactly. Like, Wait, why did I just wear that mask for five hours? On the plane? Yeah. 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 <laughs> People are hugging each other and kissing each other. Do you ever see that? Like, like the sideline reporter at a game, oh. like they'll stand like five feet away, six feet away. Yeah. And then after that, they'll they hug, hug each other. Yeah. And, they have like the Come long on. mic, right? Yeah. yeah, like the selfie stick. They got the mic, and then all of a sudden, Aaron Andrews is like going up and giving Tom Brady a hug. You're like, wait, yeah. what about the, the, COVID? the Price is Right microphone is yeah. what they have. Exactly. <laughs> so, so who's uh, who's hot these days? Who do the people when they do these corporate events when you do the shows? Who are they clamoring to see? Well, who's who's left from my old itinerary or oh my, my old uh, road yeah. events? It's uh, whether people are getting canceled or uh, or uh, pa passing away. I mean, it's crazy. I mean, all the Here's the weird thing for me with uh, with Madden and, you know, people associate. There was a time where you would Google John Madden and I would come up before him. <laughs> it's amazing. That, Cra that, crazy. That's a real thing. Yeah. Um, but uh, but yes, yeah, so, <sighs> the weird thing for me is that he, he never really liked me. I met him once. And I made his grandkids laugh. I probably told you that story yes, yes. Uh, in the past. But, you know, you, you talk, you say the things and the grandkids start laughing. Boom. I mean, <laughs> you know, go. But it was always awkward for me. And then, like, the documentary came out before he passed away, and everybody was like, "Are you in the documentary?" I'm like, "I don't, I don't think so." I think <laughs> that was pro that was probably one of the one of the stipulations that he would do the documentary <laughs> is that I wouldn't be. In. So, uh, but I love Matt. I mean, I love Madden, and uh, I mean, I think all of us, Yurko. I mean, it's one of those things where you'd watch TV or be playing on TV and Madden would circle you and everybody right. cared about it. Right? Yeah. Oh I mean, my God. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Like, that's a good point for the, for yeah. the guys that played in that. You're right. I mean, like if you got, he was the I guy, mean, he, he loved Waddle. And nice. like, I think Waddle wears that as sort of like a, he should, he made the all Madden team. team. He should, he made the all Madden yeah. team. You're right. That is a badge of honor. I got a chance to talk to him in Summerall one time. You know, usually they talk to the quarterback. They talk to the head coach. They talk to Reggie White. One year they wanted to talk to me. Unbelievable. I don't know, but they picked me and I went in and all I did was try to entertain them. Yeah. Tried to make them laugh and have some fun with them. That's all I did. I don't know if I we gave like a this one. Guy. I mean, yeah. we like this guy. I mean, he's as wide as he is tall. Yeah. I mean, take a look. At, you look at your coke. I mean, you look and you see that guy. And it's like, hey, I mean, this is what a football player is, That's right, Pat? Definitely, John, looks exactly what I think he would look like. I, and I mean, I didn't even remember what I said the whole time. It just, just I was happy believe it. to be there. <laughs> yeah. You know, just happy to be there. It was All fun. right, you brought it up. I'm going to ask, how do you handle? Now, one guy that I think did embrace it was Gruden. You guys seem to have, like, a playful thing he brought. You know, we saw in Hard Knocks and things like that. Like, how, and now Gruden's been canceled. I mean, how do you, can, do you go out and do the Gruden still? No, I haven't been doing any Gruden, really. I think eventually there's a, because that stuff's such a, I mean, it's, it's so, um, and I know Derek Carr is a friend and stuff like that. So to go out there and do a bunch of crazy, yeah. people want to meet, people were texting me and calling me, especially in Las Vegas and stuff. Hey, can you read the Gruden emails as Gruden? I'm like, no, that gets sense. no, that's what, what a terrible idea. What a horrific, um, no. but I think eventually there will be a way as time goes down, you know, cut goes along a little bit right. to be able to, you know, you know, don't press send, man. I mean, I think that's, <laughs> don't press I, I, you know, no, that's good. That's for... Don't press in. Don't <laughs> press in. Don't press in. Don't press in. I, I, I told, uh, I told Carmen, I said, boy, I tell you, I think a great one would be mad and waiting to get in at the pearly gates, talking to St. Pete about, you know, how you should get in. What am I yeah, waiting I mean, for? You got these, I mean, you think about all those things. You're like, hey, Betty, what are you doing here? And then, <laughs> 
then you look. <laughs> See, that's what gets me in trouble. Yeah, it's so good, though. Yeah, yeah, but it's, it's so good. And you're so yeah, quick. I mean, and then so you, I mean, you got St. Peter, you yeah. got uh, St. Paul, St. Ringo, all of them there. And then <laughs> you're just waiting and you're, you're like, hey, is this, I'm in the right all place. Right. And it looks like you're in the right place. And they think at uh, night, I remember this in the Hall of Fame. The bus start talking to each other. A lot of those bus are up here right now. And yeah, we're having right. another conversation. That's so good. They're still waiting for uh, Bettis, uh, though. Uh, the original bus, yes, by the thank way. You, Yerko. Thank you. Now, the politics is such a thing of the, the of what we've seen here for the last two years. And you developed a Fauci. Oh, uh, I've done a little Fauci here and there. It takes me a while to warm up to well, it. The, uh, it takes the whole world a while to warm up to him. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, it it always ends up it always ends up being Joe Pesci. You got to wear your mask. Put your mask on, right, Daddy. You're gonna be gonna. If you don't put your mask on, you're gonna be in a lot of trouble. Okay, okay. Boom, boom. All of a sudden, it becomes immunity. Oh. Immunity? Oh. How? Immunity like a clown? Yeah. I mean? I immunize. <laughs> I immunize you. Uh, oh God! <laughs> it morphs into Joe Pesci. I'll tell you what you've done great with, Frankie, is the coaches stuff, man. I'm telling you, like the Belichick and the, the Arians, like the Andy Reid, the Andy Reid, and that's our well, guy. Andy Reid is just me sinking my head into my neck <laughs> so and then put, putting on the stuff and like eating something or drinking yeah. something. The, the uh, Belichick is, you know, basically me just, you know, trying to – they were better than us today. Uh, I, I mean, and what is what is – what is he doing? Morse code with his clicks. Every before Belichick talks, he, he slaps, he smacks his lips or something like that. And you guys are talking about uh, Leftwich and um, uh, Bowles. Yes. You know what? What is Bruce Arians thinking, sitting there in Tampa? You got. Let me tell you what, Daddy. You can't take these guys away from me. What, who's going to coach? <laughs> That's exactly what he's thinking. He's got That's a. That's just going to have Tommy. It'll be Tommy and me, and it's be time to make it all the decisions, Daddy. That's what I'm talking about. Win or lose, we lose. Dude, it's so good. I love it. Um, Frank's at the Genesee Theater, Saturday, March nineteenth, eight p.m. Uh, tickets are available at ticketsales.com. You can go to Frank's website, which is frankonstage.com. I'm sorry, I said that wrong earlier. Um, the old Kelly Ando said frankonstage.com. Uh, and you can buy your tickets there. One show just that night on that Saturday, March 19th, Frank? Uh, yeah, I think I'm in Aurora the next night. So I'm in Chicago area for a couple oh, days. Oh, double, double dip. dip. Double, double dip. dip. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, maybe there might be something that comes up on the Thursday in Milwaukee or something like that. Okay. I don't know yet, but at that point, but uh, I'm going to try and get out there and uh, come in the studio with you guys and wear a mask and very, yes. very, very yeah. mask, mask up and it. triple mask and then quadruple mask and then mask masquerade as, I, as I, Dr. Fauci. I immunize you. <laughs> That's pretty good. I like it. We I, gotta, use, <laughs> I am immune you. I immunize you <laughs> like a clown. <laughs> we got tickets that we'll give away before the show is over today. Frankie, it's good talking to you. We'd love to see you. You come through town. You're always welcome here. Okay. Uh, awesome. Uh, thanks, guys. Appreciate it. See you, All right, pal. Frank. There's Frank Kelly.